Hey guys, another guitar. This is my uh, second Grote um, T-style guitar. Um, so I'm not going to go into it in the detail, anywhere near the detail that I went into in an, another video I have up on the same guitar in black, the uh, Grote uh, T-style GT50, uh, GT150 in black. But I just wanted to um, uh, let you know uh, the consistency and what I thought about this one. So the reason I bought this one is um, Amazon keeps rotating these things on sale, different various colors. The basic colors are this, which is which is green, and it is green. Um, it's pretty much like an emerald greenish with black um, spalting going through it. This is obviously not a real maple cap top. It's some sort of a print, you know, foul top, but it does... It does make a very, very striking appearance, it's a, and I love this, this green color. It's just a, an absolutely beautiful color, in my opinion. Uh, certainly against the, uh, the pearlized pickguard that's on this thing. And, I, and of course, I like the, uh, the traditional maple fretboard look on the tellies. Um, but this also comes in a purple, a black, as again, as I reviewed, and also a blue. And um, again, I just wanted the green and liked the first one so much that I said, let me give it another shot uh, and see, you know, if this, is, if this is comparable to what I got the first time around. And here are the, the slight differences. So, it, it, you know, Grote is a pretty consistent manufacturer for budget guitarists. I mean, I find these things every bit as good as Squire Bullets for a fraction of the price. So this telly, again, was right now, again, right now. You check it a couple of days, it may change because they keep varying prices amongst the different colors. But this one... It's on Amazon for $99. Now, if you get a Squire Bullet Telly, you're going to be spending about $179.99, I think, today is what the going rate is. And in my opinion, uh, and it's a basic Squire Bullet, right? Uh, it doesn't have the F-hole carve, uh, you know, your basic uh, pickups. and uh, It's a good, good, good instrument because Squire make great guitars. But if you're starting out or you want to buy something for your child or yourself as an extra telly to have, you know, you didn't have a telly in your collection, I would certainly look into one of these. You know, for for a fraction of that price, and here's why. So, the guitar comes out of the box set up pretty well. I mean, I really literally didn't have to do much to it. I mean, the um, frets are completely smooth, so they had attention to detail at the factory and made sure they didn't come out with any sharp fret ends, which is always important on a budget guitar, right? On this one, um, the action on this guy this time around is a little bit higher than the last one I got, but that's fine. Actually, on a telly, I don't mind it a little bit high. I'm going to take it down maybe a hair, but it really could just stay as is. Um, it's fine. The um, uh, the neck feels pretty much the same as the other guitar. It's got a, I wouldn't say it's a thin neck profile, but certainly not a thick. It's, it's a C-shaped neck, and it's very comfortable. Uh, I would guess this is a 9.5 inch radius. It doesn't say. Um, it's a 25.5 inch scale, obviously. It's got a 42 millimeter nut. And by the way, the nut, as always, is a plastic nut. So again, there are going to be things on this guitar that you're probably going to want to change, as I mentioned in my other video, like like the nut. Um, and probably uh, maybe some of the switches, which are, you know, they're inexpensive um, import switches, but they do the job. You know, it's a three-way switch, typical Tele three-way switch, and you have your knurled volume and, uh, and tone controls on here, which work fine. And there is, um, you know, as I mentioned on the earlier video, again, there is, you know, significant change when you when you use these knobs, which is a nice thing. Bridge is, a, is your uh, um, a six saddle uh, um, tele style bridge. Um, the pickups are again single coil, um, non, -al non not Al Alnico pickups. These are probably, and they are, not probably, but they're ceramic pickups. Um, the fretboard is glued on. It's not a solid uh, neck fret, but it is a maple fretboard with a maple neck back and it's a satin finish again um, back is string through as I mentioned on the earlier guitar and uh, it's a solid black back so you have this, this like spalted green coloring on the front and the back is solid black um, so again I'm not going to get into too many more details about that the nice thing about this guitar um, this time around is it actually got shipped with a gig bag and it's a flimsy one it's one of these dust cover deals I don't even have it uh, handy right now, but it, it, at least it covers the guitar if you want to give it to your child or use it to, you know, to store or whatever. Um, one of the other things are about the guitar. Um, it's inexpensive, as I said, so don't expect wonders. I mean, 
The F hole does not have any binding around it. Um, the only binding on the guitar is this, um, you know, cream, creamish type binding on the front front of the guitar. Back of the guitar, no binding. F hole, no binding. And the F hole is finished relatively well. There is some missing paint around the edges. And again, you can you can find these things on a budget guitar. So I, I really feel funny even complaining about that. Um, but one thing, it's it's listed, and I think I might have mentioned this in the other video as well, as a as a semi hollow guitar. And I highly doubt this is a semi hollow guitar. I mean, it certainly has an F carve. And, uh, you know, you can clearly see there's a block right here, right in the middle of the guitar. But everywhere else around it, to me, sounds sounds solid except around this area. So I don't know if I would consider this a semi-hollow as much as it's an F-carved-out Telecaster. <laughs> also, from a weight-wise standpoint, um, I weighed this one. And this one, you know, as accurate as I can get it on my scale at home, came to 7.2 pounds. So, again... Um, if it was truly a, a semi-hollow, I think it might be a, a shade lighter than that. Um, but that's just, you know, here or there. Uh, otherwise, the guitar uh, is, is very comparable to the first one I got. It's finished nice. Um, the, um, the, the guitar ships also with, you know, a strap and some picks and uh, a cheap, you know, guitar cord. So you're going to get the basic accoutrement that comes with the, these, you know, low-end guitars. Um trying to think if I'm missing anything else. Uh, oh, major thing. <laughs> and, I'm, and later on, I'll, I'll plug it in, um, and I'll let you hear, hear you know, what the thing sounds like a bit. But to my ears, this, um, uh, the three-way was wired incorrectly. I, I think what's going on here is the, the, um, the top position, obviously, is the neck pickup, and that seems to be working fine. But the middle, which should be both of these pickups, is actually the bridge. You know, it gets that high trebly sound from the bridge pickup. And then, you know, the furthest position away, which is typically your bridge pickup, is, sounds like the middle. So I think it might be wired wrong. But again, that's, that's even in my opinion, a nit, because to, between me and you, I play mostly uh, the, the neck pickup and the bridge pickup for, you know, for minimal, uh, you know, tonal, you know, lead work and some different tonalities. But... You know, I, I, I do use the middle pickup occasionally, but in my particular case, most of the time, it's, it's, it's the neck and the bridge. So in this order, it doesn't really disturb me or bother me, but I think it was wired incorrectly. Um, yeah, but other than that, uh, again, guys, $99 right now on Amazon for a, a, a T-style guitar with an F-carve and a maple fretboard and, you know, finished very, very cleanly out of the factory Minimal setup at my end. Again, intonation out of the box was fine. Um, the tuners, again, as I mentioned earlier, are okay. They seem to hold two relatively well. They're not great. Um, but again, guys, as a modding platform, this is a no-brainer. I mean, you're going to spend a ton more money getting another, you know, budget telly or Squire bullet telly or whatever you want if you want to mod it and spend a lot more money than this. So for, you know, $99 shipped... Um, plus tax, you know, free shipping, plus tax. To me, this is a no-brainer. Um, all you do is, you know, you drop in some better pickups, obviously. You, you take the tuners and replace them with better tuners. You're going to replace the nut, probably, with a bone nut. Maybe if you want to put on some better switches on here and uh, pots, you can do that. Um, bridge, I think you can just leave as is, as, as, as far as I'm concerned. And you and you got a, you got a player. you got a really good guitar. So, um, guys... I highly recommend, once again, the Grote uh, T-Style guitar. I love this green, whatever, just green color. And um, I will be back shortly, and I'll plug it in, and you can hear you know, a couple of sounds on the different pickup positions, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back um, with some sounds. So this is just uh, my guitar plugged into a uh, Fender um, Mustang... LT25. So it's a basic Mustang digital lamp. Um, I just have it right now on a pure clean setting. Um, and this is just to give you an idea of, uh, of, <clears throat> of these pickups. Again, here's what I'm talking about. So this right now is the bridge um, pickup, and you can hear how it sounds clean. <laughs> That's the bridge. And now here's the 
use the middle. Now, do you hear how sharp and, and crisp that sounds? So that is definitely not a combination, in my opinion, of the neck and the bridge pickup. This sounds more to me like the middle position is actually the bridge telly pickup. And now when you go to position three, right, or the furthest away position of this three-way switch, which is normally the bridge pickup on the telly, this is what you have. Which to me is the middle, is the combination of the, the bridge and the neck. So I think somehow Grote miswired this uh, three-way switch, which again, in my case is fine for $99. I'm not, I'm not terribly worried about it. But, um, you know, the guitar sounds pretty good here. I'll just give you some more, you know, basic sounds. This is the bridge. Next pickup. Middles. bridge, which I think is the middle. <laughs> and then, if you want, I can put a little distortion on it. You can hear how it sounds with, you know, some fuzz on it. That's the, um, <laughs> that's that's the middle, I think, now. The middle is the bridge. And then the neck. So all in all, guys, I'm satisfied with the sound of the guitar. I mean, for a budget um, telly, let me just knock this off. Uh, for a budget telly at $99, um, again, I'm satisfied. Um, my only complaint is I think this three-way was wired incorrectly, but the pickups sound okay. You know, they're 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 ceramic pickups. They're not Alnico pickups. Um, they'll get the job done. Again, if you're a you know a, a player or you're you know playing, gigging, whatever the case is, you definitely want to change these things to, to better pickups, in my opinion. But for $99, this thing has solid bones for a telly and is a great mod platform. So, uh, once again, guys, um, I will put the description below to this um, Grote GT150 uh, Super Series uh, T-Style guitar in green. And again, I might have missaid. I, I think this is not uh, spalted. This is more of a quilted, uh, you know, foul quilted top with some, you know, print print on it. It's obviously not, not a real um, quilted maple uh, cap, but, um, you know, $99, you're lucky if you get real wood. So, and again, I think this is basswood, this guitar. So, in any event, um, if you, if, uh, down below, link to where you can buy this on Amazon, description of it. Um, guys, if you have any questions about the guitar, as always, ask me. I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Um, if you like these videos again, please give them a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. And until the next time, everybody, be well and stay safe. Take care, guys.